Hey, this is a review of MIUI 12.5 that's been ported to the Redmi Note 10 Pro by Tech Zone Unique. I've been using this ROM for 24 hours and immediately I am switching. If you wanna know why, watch the rest of this video. I want to do what I can to help out the situation in India right now. The other day I watched an absolutely heartbreaking documentary piece about the current state of the pandemic in India. They've got people dying in the streets. They don't have enough doctors. People are buying their own medicine, but they don't have the doctors to administer. It, it's just, it's terrible. At the same time, here in Vietnam, I can't go teach. This week, I got a letter from my work saying that because of the current pandemic conditions, I'm out of a job. And the second job that I was looking to start, I can't start that now either. Meaning that here, you and me on YouTube is the only way I can make money. So I wanted to come up with a happy compromise of what I could do to help the situation in India without giving away all of my earnings from YouTube. And for this week, today is May the 8th. Uh, all of the videos I'm gonna be doing from May the 7th to May the 14th, those proceeds, 100% of those proceeds for the month of May are going to go towards some type of relief effort in India. My Indian viewers have already said, don't donate to the PM fund, but the way you guys can help is by sharing my videos, watching my videos till the very end. That's how I make more money on these videos. I'm gonna be completely transparent about this, posting screenshots of my earnings on them. And then whatever we earn for these videos for this week, I'm going to double that with my own money and donate it to India because a large part of my viewership lives in India right now and they need our help. So. Let's hop into this video. Basically, in this ROM, we have a lot of, if not most of the features that we have available in MIUI 12.5 uh, already on the devices that have gotten MIUI 12.5. Um, but really, some of the features and some of the things that I was hoping to have working on this just aren't working. Now, I haven't pinned any of the apps open uh, and still I'm getting less than three gigabytes of available RAM, uh, which is what I was getting, um, it's like the same as I was getting stock, which is kind of a bummer. I'm getting some, here's a, here's a good example. I'm getting some random uh, stutters and just kind of hiccups and jitters on this ROM that I wasn't getting before on the stock MIUI 12 ROM. Ultimately, as much as I appreciate Tech Zone's efforts to bring us this kind of early preview of this ROM, ultimately the stability, the fluidity, and the things that I really liked about MIUI 12.5 on my Xiaomi Mi 10 are just kind of not on here. And ultimately, it's really difficult for me to suggest a ROM like this to you guys when more importantly than not, it's not stable. Even to get this ROM flashed on my device, I had to jump through a bunch of hoops. My first attempt, I actually soft bricked the device and I ended up having to install the Magisk uh, module to root the device before um, I could install the, the ROM itself. And it just kind of ended up being a complete nightmare for me to get this ROM working on this device uh, just as, as it was. Um, that said, it's nothing personal against TechZone. As I said, he even helped me install this ROM, but I'm still getting um, some of the hiccups I was before. That said, most of my issues that I had, so you guys see, you can see I'm having an issue and a stutter with this right now, but uh, he even helped me get this ROM loaded onto the device, which I really, really appreciate. He helped me troubleshoot and problem solve uh, the issues I was having with this ROM. And I really, really appreciate, uh, you know, the, the, the efforts from a developer to get this to us. Uh, that said, it's just not worth it, in my opinion, to go ahead and flash this right now. Uh, I wanna give you guys a quick update on what the status is of uh, my India donation project that I'm doing. And if you guys don't know about that yet, or you haven't realized that from the intro of this video, what I'm doing is I'm taking the proceeds 
uh, from all of the videos that I make this week. I'm gonna go ahead and match them, double them with my own money. And then we are gonna go ahead and donate them uh, to funds to help India. This video as it is right now has 33 hours of watch time. It's got a little over a thousand views. And so this means I should be getting around a dollar uh, of profit from this video, which obviously if I double it, it's $2. So already up hopefully $2 to go ahead for India. And if you guys wanna support that, all you need to do is just share this on your social media, share this on your Facebook, share this on your Twitter, uh, share this with friends of yours, watch the videos till the end, watch them multiple times on mute. It doesn't really matter. Just watching the content allows me to generate more money from it. Uh, and that way I can go ahead and end up donating more to help out a lot of my viewers, hopefully in India that need our help right now with the current pandemic crisis there. And that's it. That's a review wrap and a review of this ROM. Don't install it right now. I think you guys should wait for an official MIUI 12.5 from this, or even a Xiaomi EU 12.5 port. That's probably what my daily driver is gonna be as soon as it launches. Let me know in the comment section down below uh, what ROM you guys would like to see. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try out .OS next, or .ROM. I've heard some really, really good things about it. Oh, something I forgot to mention about this MIUI port is that battery life on it is absolutely mediocre at best. Um, going off of, I charged my phone up to 83% today. What are these issues? Uh, and I've got this um, SLA, S, which has been draining a ton of battery. Uh, Spotify, I've been listening to Spotify a bunch today. And the screen on time I don't think is accurate because there's no way I've been using this device for eight hours. I think it's just uh, telling me how many hours the screen has been on since I last fully charged it. And yeah, so that's it. Skip this ROM right now. It's nothing against the developer. I appreciate the developer helping me out with this and hopefully we get some more stable, more polished, better MIUI 12.5 uh, ROMs. Hopefully we get an official MIUI 12.5 coming pretty soon. Till next time guys, stay safe, eat healthy, wear a mask, wash your hands, exercise, and just be as healthy as you can be. That's all we can do right now. Peace.